Hey everyone, this is Lisa from Life in Layouts and today I am over here on the scrap room using the Flavors of the Month kit for the month of March. And I am super excited to be following along with this sketch. I do turn this sketch into a two page layout and I have been struggling with these photos for quite a while because these are photos for my friend who is Jewish and she celebrates Passover. I do not celebrate Jewish holidays and so I was really struggling with trying to find something that would work that was appropriate for the day but not too Eastery. And when I saw this paper, I knew that it was perfect. Now the kit does come with black cardstock, but I felt like the papers that I was going to use was going to make this layout really dark. So I decided to go ahead and pull out some pink paper from my stash and use that as the background. I do use the black cardstock that came with the layout to create a border on the top and the bottom of the stripe paper. And I use the polka dot paper in top of the striped paper and then this kind of chevron paper. I do end up gutting a lot of the paper underneath because there's really no reason to waste that paper. I knew it was gonna be covered up. And because I only received three pieces of paper, I felt like I needed to really stretch the paper as much as I can. So you'll see here that I cut out the center of that black piece. On the striped piece, I'm also gonna cut out what's behind all of that pattern paper as well. Now the sketch calls for two photos that are really square photos and probably they were three by three. The sketch doesn't really call for a size of the photos, but the photos that I had, I really wanted to showcase the four by six photo. This was their dinner that they had on Passover and then my friend on a cooking the dinner. So that was what the photos are on the left hand side of the layout. And then for the right hand side of the layout, I just had three additional photos of the her and the kids hanging out in the living room. For that kind of chevron paper, I wanted it to span across the, the layout and I did not have a piece that was big enough. So I went ahead and cut it and you're not gonna see it behind the photo. So there's no reason to have the paper back there anyways. I used my Martha Stewart border punch to punch out a scallop in the black polka dot and put that on the far right hand side of the layout. Now this dried marmalade is like an orangey peach color and I think that it really goes well with the orangey pink salmon color I think is probably the best way to put it um, in the paper. I think it goes really well with that. So I'm gonna use my T-square ruler to get everything adhered down. I want to encourage you guys to check out the Scrap Rooms Facebook group as well as their blog. Now you don't have to be a member of the Kit Club to participate in any of the challenges that we have over on the Facebook group. However, if you do decide to become a kit member, make sure that you let Rochelle know that I sent you because she will include a special little prize for you in your first month's kit. I wanted to add a little extra piece of something to the top of the layout. So what I did was take this sticker that has a scallop on it and I made it work across the layout just by tucking it in under the photos. So if you have something that you want to span across, make sure you kind of cover it up with what's there and no one would be the wiser that it was only one piece of border sticker. I had the three photos on the right hand side and I just felt like there was an empty space on the bottom where the four by six was. So I went ahead and used the white paper with these really beautiful black florals on it. And I just love that black and white print. It really adds something to the layout. So I decided to pull in the black and white over to the left hand side of the layout by adding a black and white butterfly as well as a black and white floral to the cluster on the left. 
Now I am starting to work on the cluster down there at the bottom on the right hand side of the layout and I knew that I wanted it to span across both pieces of the layout. And I start out with this black paper but I do decide to ditch that when I find these word stickers down at the bottom of the sticker sheet. I end up using the word stickers that say it's all in the details, documented, good, amazing, real life, and forever. I think that those kind of really showcase the day as a Passover. And again, like I said, I am, I am not Jewish, so I don't know a whole lot about it. But when I spoke to my friend about what her thoughts are in regards to the holidays, that was kind of the, the gesture that I got. Now this is a trick that I learned from my friend Heather and I love this trick by just taking a pop dot or fun foam and adding it to the top of any icon or embellishment and I did it for butterfly because I feel like that's really a movement. So I just added the pop dots to the top of the butterfly's wings and then because this was a sticker it stuck down flat on the bottom so it really gives it that movement that the butterfly needs to have. And now I am just really showcasing the different stickers that are on this sticker sheet and making it work for my layout. Up there in the top right hand corner I do add that butterfly plus a pink floral and the tag that says happiness. This is what really drew me to using this collection for these photos is because on the sticker sheet it says on this day is at the top there and grateful is also on there and I wanted my title to be on this day be grateful there was not a letter B and I could have totally pulled it from my stash but there is the word remember on this sticker sheet and I decided to pull out the word B from the word remember and add it to my title so my title is on this day be grateful and then off camera, I do add the word Passover, which you will see in the final layout, as well as the close-ups. I added that using some letter stickers in my stash. So I want to again encourage everyone to head over to the scrap room, check out all of the inspiration that we have this month, as well as some challenges. We would love for you to join us, including this sketch challenge. And thanks everyone for watching. I hope that you have a scrappy day.